World Bank blacklists 58 Nigerian companies and individuals over corruption. Oh boy. So who are these people that the World Bank is uh, blacklisting? World Bank and, uh, you know, 58 Nigerians and individuals, 58 companies and individuals blacklisted. The question is, what does corruption mean to this this World Bank? Because World Bank actually has been, World Bank and IMF have been giving Nigerian government some kind of um, economic advice that has been very detrimental to us, especially around value, valuing and devaluing of her Naira, the, the currency of Nigeria. And pushing Nigerians to be taking loans and grants that can never be repaid easily. So, and all these economic advices have not been working for us. So, on what premise are they, you know, identifying these companies and individuals, uh, you know, for corruption and blacklisting them? We need to understand better. Okay. Let's dive into the details. The World Bank has blacklisted 58 Nigerian companies and individuals for engaging in corrupt practices, a move which comes as part of the institution's ongoing effort to uphold integrity and transparency in its projects and operations. Among those affected are 39 Nigerian companies previously debarred by the African Development Bank, AFDB, along with 19 individuals identified by the World Bank under the cross debarment policy. So the total number of debarments now stands at 58, rendering the implicated entities ineligible to participate in projects and operations financed by institutions of the World Bank Group. So the list which the World Bank updates every three hours contains a total of 1,210 companies and individuals globally at the time of this report. So a debarment renders firms individuals ineligible to participate in projects and operations financed by institutions of the World Bank Group. So according to the World Bank report, the sanctions were imposed following an administrative process conducted by the bank, which allowed the accused firms and individuals to respond to the allegations. This process um, adhered to the bank's procedures for sanctions proceedings and uh, settlements in bank-financed projects. So cross debarment as per the agreement for mutual enforcement of debarment decisions was enforced in accordance with the agreement dated 9th April 2010, and this agreement has been made effective by several international financial institutions, including the World Bank, Asian Development Bank, European Bank for Reconstruction and Development, Inter-American Development Bank, and African Development Bank. So the World Bank's actions underscores is commitment to combating corruption and promoting accountability in development projects, ensuring that funds are used effectively for the benefit of the people. Can you imagine? So that uh, department uh, list is being refreshed every three hours. And as at this time, the total number of the uh, departments in the list and down this report was 1,210, and out of that 1,210, 58 entities are from Nigeria, 39, um, 39 um, companies, I think about 19 individuals, also nine individuals, so, <laughs> or 19 individuals rather. So that makes it uh, 58, and uh, <laughs> so every time they refer that list, Anywhere you are, if you have issue that has to do with uh, World Bank uh, corruption against World Bank, you are you are caught. So, what is um, debarment list? Debarment list is a list of people who are an ent entities who are involved in corruption, and so they are barred from participating in projects that are financed by the World Bank. So, on so I know that Nigerians until they catch our politicians and catch government institutions in Nigeria, we are not we are not believing that this list is fair enough because we know corrupting the Nigerian politicians uh, from executive to legislators to the judiciary, you know, we know them and we know what they can do. So if some of those people Nigerians are expecting to see their names are not there, 
rather are people that are not expecting to be there are the ones there then i will say um i will say that world bank is biased okay so let's dive into the details to see what people are saying somebody said let them publish their names exactly publish their name for the world to know them they will not uh, correct release the list why you world bank not be smart in uh, really why you world bank anything that condemns by world bank and mf is in right track for africa anything that praises uh that is praised by world bank and imf is against african citizens they are caught with full one day <laughs> i can understand where this person is coming from and I, I i share the view that because of the the world bank and imf interest anything that they say is bad must be something that is you know about being correct in uh, in africa but anything they say it is good check it very well it's at the detriment of africans so these people should be watched they should not be trusted uh, completely Somebody says, I support you. That's why it's correct. Where are their names? Exactly. Where are their names? Let's see their names and know who they are. Nigeria always involved in bad situations. <laughs> let's see their names and let's be sure that this is not a fabricated story and that you have the people. We know everybody in Nigeria. So bring the list out and they will believe you. World Bank is created to monitor and undermine the growth of Africa countries and to be dependent on the West by giving them bad loans with unbearable conditions, which make African countries stagnate without growth. Hmm. The same way they told us about Boko Haram sponsors, to date, no name. What is the name of the companies? Is this site fake? Can you take this site as one of the fake com companies in Nigeria, why not name them? Please name them. They will not. That is the problem. They will not name them. Let us know the people. We know that almost all Nigerian politicians are corrupt, both local and international. Okay? And that is why civil service, people, most civil servants, senior civil servants are also corrupt. In fact, they are the rotting ones in the ministry that are teaching the politicians how to steal and get figures correct. Hmm. What is the usefulness of your story without listing the names of the implicated companies? Are you afraid of litigations? Do your reports professionally? Thank you for listening. Now let's have your comment. So people have asked the World Bank to do their reports professionally and let's see the interests of Africa and Africans protected in, in their reports. 